What's up YouTube? AK Aquatics here again. <coughs> Excuse me, I just want to do uh, show you guys this project I have going on here. It's just about at its final stage of completion here. I still gotta fill this up with media, but this is basically a DIY canister filter. I got set up. Um, I just finished doing all the plumbing and hooking the pump in and whatnot, and I tested it to check for water leaks, but yeah, it's, it's it's golden so uh in any case i just want to give you guys a quick an overview of this project and then i'm gonna show you it in action with this little bucket setup i got going on for now i'm gonna wait for the solvent to cure and then i'll put it on the tank but anyway i just ran a three quarter inch inside diameter pvc tubing here to uh there's a union with a ball valve there it's kind of an integrated deal into one where it's a union on both sides of the ball valve but down here i did uh there's a 1375 gallon per hour pump it's uh 40 watts but i did two unions side by side here and the reason for that is i want to be able to stop the pressure on the uh the bucket side and separate it right here at this union and not have back drainage from the pump side for the water so I got this ball valve here as well so I could have the pump side shut off and the bucket side shut off when I go to separate them <coughs> and do maintenance so when I take this one I'll split it here and then I'll split this one up here and then I can just pull the bucket out and clean it and whatever but this is a uh, it's a bucket that I got with some Seachem Matrix that I ordered. It came in that six gallon bucket, but it comes with the O-ring kind of rubber gasket at the inside of that lid. So I always thought this would be a great way to make a canister filter. It also has a lock mechanism, so it locks it into place. The tighter you get it, you know, the, it'll lock it and hold it where you have it. But yeah, I just finished this project here. I'm gonna fire it up here for you guys real quick and show you the output of this thing. It's just a beast. But, uh, yeah, hold on a sec. As you can see that's a three quarter inch PVC and uh, I could probably actually time this and tell you the gallons per hour I'm getting, but there's no media in it yet. As you can see, it's really it's almost filling this up right in after I cut it. But yeah, that's the setup. So, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys an update here when I get it all done and finished. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.